Hi and good morning. My name is Hope Floberg and today we're going to be training on added land and added land PTY. To start off with, we will be going over the functionality for adding units as added land using our EasyWriter Pro added land wizard. We'll also be showcasing the new user interface that we've recently added along with some of our enhancements that we've made to both our regular added land process and to units that are added land where the policy has the North Dakota personal T yield option selected. So let's get started. We're going to begin by entering into our policy by going to MPCI view policy and then entering in our policy number. All right, as our policy opens, the first step that we're going to take is we're going to go up to the upper left-hand corner, corner and we're going to edit the policy. Then, as you can see, there's two tabs along the top of the screen. We're going to click on the acreage lines, APH tab. And as you can see, we currently have three wheat units on the screen. Now, to add added land, there's two different ways that you can do it. So the first way is to do it in the add unit window. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the lower portion of the screen here, and we are going to click on the add unit button. Once this screen opens here, this is our add unit window. We're then going to select the unit option here and enter in the next consecutive unit number. And then I'm going to enter in my practice and type, which I'll choose non-irrigated winter. And now here is going to be the first place that you're able to enter into that added land wizard. So what I can do from this screen is I can, under unit type, use the drop down box and select added land. Now when I do that right away my added land wizard is going to open up for me and it's going to ask me does the acreage to be added exceed 640 total acres. The first situation that we're going to walk through we're actually going to select no. So I am going to choose no then I'm going to hit finish Oops, and this is a great reminder. This is one of our wonderful new error message handling that will really help to make it clear to the end users that you're missing a piece. So as you can see here on my error message, it says the added land, added PTV year is required. So that means I'm missing a piece on my wizard. So I'm gonna close out of here. And as you can see here, I did miss an additional information, one of the steps on here. So I need to enter in the year that it was added, which is going to be my current year of 2016. And then I'm going to hit finish. So now what I wanna do is I wanna finish adding my unit. So I am going to update and add my location information. And I'm just gonna come in here and get my location entered for my unit. and hit OK. Okay, so now I am on back to my regular screen. So one thing that we want to first of all check out here is that I am going to just quickly add my T yield map area, which is the 37, I'm gonna hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save at the top of the screen. And when I do that, you can see now that my APH database has filled in for me. Now, many of you may be wondering, where is that 37 coming from? Well, since I hit no in the added land wizard that I am not exceeding that 640 acres, what the system is trying to do is it's trying to figure out what is higher. Is it that uh, we either want to use the higher of the simple average T yield or the, um, or the county T yield? So let's figure this out just to make sure that it calculated it correctly. So obviously the county T yield, as I just showed you when I went into that T yield map area, is 37. But let's figure out what our simple average T yield would be. So if I come up here to these units up at the top here, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first unit, and I'm going to just notate what the approved average is on each of these units. So first of all, my first unit has an approved average of 32. Go down to my second unit, has an approved average of 33. 
and my third unit has an improved average of 34. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 32 plus 33 plus 34 and add them together, which would give me 99. And then I'm going to divide by 3 because I have 3 units. What that's going to give me is it's going to give me an approved average of 33. So 33 is my SAT yield, 37 is my county T yield. The system is smart enough to know that for added land, when you do not exceed the 640 acres, you take the higher up, and that's where we're getting this 37 down at the bottom of the screen. Okay, we're now going to move on to our next scenario. So what we want to do is we want to go back into that added land wizard, and this time we're going to select yes, that we have exceeded the 640 acres. So to begin with, now in the beginning I told you there's two different ways to get into the added land wizard. Was One was through the add unit window. The second is through, if you look at the APH screen, under here there is a unit type option. Again, that drop down box is here. So the second type is just right in this box. If I click added land again, it's going to prompt open the window for me. Now, if I come in here and my acreage to be added does exceed the 640 acres, I'm going to hit this yes radio button. Now when I do that, the next button at the bottom of the screen is enabled and I can click on that. So now you need to indicate how you wish to handle your yield calculations. So if you were going to use your regular T yield calculations, you could click that option. Or if you're sending a request to the RO, you would select the refer to RO option. Now, when you do the refer to RO option, if you've submitted your request but you haven't heard back, you still are able to finish this wizard window um, without having all of that information, but you do need to complete it before your acres are entered. Either way though, to be able to complete this screen, I still need to enter in my RO request number here at the bottom so that the system is aware that a request has been sent through. Now, if you notice, if I hit finish on the screen without entering in that RO request number, I'm going to be prompted that that is required. So again, more user-friendly error messages just to guide you along the way as to what you're missing. So I am going to, in, to go in here and just enter a RO request number. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit finish. Oops, and I must have entered it in incorrectly. Let me try that one more time. There we go. Apparently it needs a capital R. Um, so in the meantime, what, what EasyWriter Pro is going to do until you get that RO um, request back as approved, it is going to calculate the unit temporarily with the county T yield. If the RO accepts the request, what you'll do is you'll go back in and select that radio button, and then the system will change from the temporarily placed county yield T yield to the SAT yield. So I'm just going to show a quick example of that too. So again, I'm going to go right back into that wizard. I'm going to choose yes, click next. Once it is approved, I'm going to say um, refer to RO, approve to use T yield, yes. Then I'm going to hit finish and go from there. And then as you can see, once I do that, down at the bottom, my um, yields have changed from the 37 county T yield to 33 with the L indicator for added land. Okay, we're going to move on to the next scenario. So what I'm going to do to get this scenario put into place is I'm going to go back into my unit type wizard and get into that added land. And now what I'm going to do is on the question, does the acreage to be added exceed the 640 total acres? I'm going to switch that back to no. And what I'd like to show you in this situation, oh, I better hit save here. So it goes back to the 37. What I want to show you is some of our newly enhanced error messaging. So the situation that I'd like to show you is where we have selected no, our acreage does not exceed the 640 acres, but then once we've actually entered our in our acreage, it does exceed the 640 acres, how the system is going to notify you that that is um, an error and that you need to um, do some changes to make, correct that. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into our quick FTF screen and I'm going to enter in some acres for our wheat line. And I am just gonna kind of key in some random numbers here. And then I'm going to select my units. We'll get these acres keyed in here. And I'm just entering an acreage here for all of them. And we're gonna show all units here so I can get something in there for each of them. And as you can see, I'm making it very generic just for example purposes here. And then last but not least, we'll get our new unit in here. And we'll hit save. All right, once that's saved, I'm gonna exit out of the window. It's just telling me that my information has been successfully saved. I'm going to hit okay. So now that I've completed that, I come back to my acreage screen and you can see that all of my lines are now red. So to see why those lines are in red, that means that they're an error, I'm gonna go up to our policy error viewer and I'm gonna look at the reasoning why. So to begin with, I'm starting out on my first added land unit and it says added land acreage validation. It does say down here that there are more than 640 added land acres in the county, but it has been indicated on the unit that less than 640 acres are being added. Policy changes cannot be committed until this is corrected. So what I need to do to correct that is I'm going to close out. Then I know I need to go back into that wizard. And because I've exceeded that, I do need to hit the yes and then hit next. I'm going to use the regular T yield calculation, hit finish, and I'm going to save. So now, as you can see, when I go into the policy error viewer, I'm no longer getting that added land error message. Now I am getting a couple other error messages in here just regarding that I don't have a location specified for specific acreages on some of the additional lines I have up at the top. And the reason why is I just didn't go through when I was doing the uh, FT, quick FTF window and specify location. So that's an error, um, a user error of my own that we're not gonna correct at this time just because it doesn't have to do with the added land information. So I'm gonna close out of that window. Now the next step that I wanna talk about with everybody is the PTY added land wizard. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm going to exit out of this policy and we're gonna enter into a PTY policy. Okay, so now that we're in our PTY test policy, what I'm gonna do again is I'm going to edit out the policy and I'm gonna go over to my acreage lines um, tab. Now the first thing we wanna do with PTY um, when we're going to be added, adding added land is we want to determine if the yield, if the PTY summary yield is higher or lower than the county to yield for this crop and county. So in this case, our PTY yield is 41 and you can see that because on each of these units here, they're all using the PTY yield, and this is our PTY summary unit right here. So our approved average is 41 on our PTY summary. 
And then the T yield, as you can see here, let's just click on that T yield map, is 36. So you're going to need this information when you are determining how the system should apply the yield for added land. So let's hop in here. So once again, I'm going to add a separate unit for added land in the next sequential unit number. So let's just hop right back over here to add a unit. And again, I'm going to select the same practice and type that my other units are under. All right, and I'm going to go down to my unit type and I'm going to select added land. Now, again, my first question, does the acreage to be added exceed 640 total acres? To begin with, I'm going to select no. And then I'm going to hit finish. Now, oh, and I did it again, which is great for those error messages. I forgot to add the year that it was added, so it's 2016. Hit finish. Let's update our locations here. I'm just kind of picking some. There we go. And hit OK. All right. Okay, so if you select no to, to, to the does acreage to be added exceed 640 total acres, the system is going to automatically put the PTY summary yield in. So once I hit save, the system will come up here. The system is going to plug in, we'll give it just a minute here, plug in that 41 with the L indicator. So that 41 again is pulling from the PTY summary yield. All right, now let's kind of change the scenario a little bit here. So I'm gonna go back into that unit wizard or added land wizard. And this time I'm gonna hit yes for the question, does the acreage to be added exceed 640 total acres? Okay, so now you'll see that the does the acreage to be added exceed 2,000 total acres has now become enabled for me to fill in as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit no to this question. And then I'm going to hit the next button. All right, so now if the user answers no to does the acreage to be added exceed 2,000 total acres, then they are required to instruct the system on how the yield is to be applied. This is where already having determined whether the PTY summer yield is higher than the county yield comes into play. The user must answer these questions eventually, but if you need time to submit this to the RO, you can go ahead and save the unit without the questions being answered. Again, you will need to answer these questions prior to adding acreage onto your unit. Otherwise, you will get a hard edit in the system, meaning that you're not able to commit the policy until the questions have been answered. And that, again, will only come up once you've added acres to that unit. When the unit is saved without the questions answered in the system, the county T yield will temporarily apply to that unit. So just so you're aware. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, not answer the question and hit finish. And then I am going to, on here, um, basically what I've done is I have saved. It's changed it to the T's. And now over here, it is telling me as in an error message that my added land wizard was not completed. And again, it specifies my unit number and it just states to me that this has not been completed and will need to be done. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of click off of there. I just wanna show you that the line is gonna show in red. And so if you click on that policy and then back up to the policy error viewer, that's where you'll be able to see that you're missing answers to that question. However, as long as acres aren't added, you can still commit the policy. All right, I'm going to close out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how I can commit the policy here. And it will not stop me. I just hit the commit option here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit without print. All right, so as you can see, no error message. Now I'm gonna go right back into that policy.
Okay, so now I'm back in the policy. What I'm going to do now is on that added land unit, I'm actually going to go up to our quick FTF and I'm going to enter in a, um, a locations line for it here. Just um, basic, or not a locations line, an acreage line here for it, just so you can see how I will then actually get the error message. Okay, so again, let's see here, the new unit that I added, hit okay. Again, I just made up the FSN number, so um, I'm just gonna hit yes, that is correct. I am going to add, actually I gotta add over, get that information in there. I'm gonna hit save and exit. All right, it's just telling me that my information has been successfully saved. I hit OK. My acreage has now been entered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and commit the policy. And as you can see here, this is not the error that I was thinking. This is actually an error just stating that all of my um, rye has not had acreage reported yet. Um, and I am now going to hit commit and now I'm getting this commit endorsement error that says that the added land wizard was not completed so I'm not able to commit. All right so to be able to handle that what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go back into that added land unit wizard and I am going to go to the next page and I'm going to submit um, basically the information um, that came back from the RO. And then I'll hit save. And this again is just my fault for in the quick FTF window not filling in all of the location information. Again, I'm going to get that error message because I don't have acreage on the RAI yet. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to hit commit. And now I'm able to um, commit the policy now that that information has been entered. So I hope this added land tutorial was helpful today. If you have any further questions, please contact your underwriter um, or your marketing rep. Also, if you have any systematic errors, you can call the call center. Thank you so much and have a great day.